Hello mga kakikay! This is me again, Kakay, and welcome back to Sunshine with Petals. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Enjoy! Today po, isishare ko po sa inyo yung paraan ko ng pagpaparami ng begonia. Pre-prepare ko na po ngayon yung hanging basket na gagamitin kong pagtataniman ng mga begonia. The potting mix that I will be using is normal garden soil na nakuha ko lang sa may bakuran. I am mixing tree bark into my potting mix because it benefits the soil by allowing water to infiltrate plus it prevents the soil from compacting. Mixing tree barks into the soil, you protect your plant's delicate roots from heat and drought because it retains moisture into the soil. I have here a tiger paw begonia. This belongs to the rhizomatous kind of begonia. It has a color of chocolate to bronze red leaves with bright green markings resembling a tiger paw. Rhizomatous begonias are known by its thick stem or rhizomes. That rhizome grow horizontally when planted into soil and will sprout new roots and leaves. You can grow this kind of begonia by dividing its rhizomes or even from its leaf cuttings. The rhizomes contain water and food reserves that allow this type of begonia to survive stress like drought, damage, or leaf loss. This kind of begonia grows best in indirect light or filtered sunlight but can tolerate morning sun. Begonia thrive in rich, organic, well-drained soil that is moist but not wet because wet soil conditions could lead to rot rot and can kill your plant. When dividing the rhizomes, make cutting section in the rhizome with a sharp knife or scissors about 1 to 2 inches in length. Make sure at least one leaf scar, leaf stem base, or growing bud is on each section. Fill your pots or whatever planter you have with your potting mix. Tamping it down in the pot until the soil line is half from the bottom of the pot. Place one rhizome cutting in each pot, but for me, I like it more in hanging baskets. Make sure the rhizome is laid horizontally and the leaf scar, bud, or old stem base is facing upward. Tamp the soil gently around the cutting base with your fingertips. Place the newly planted begonia in a shaded warm location. Do not allow any direct sunlight to reach the plant. Monitor the plant and the soil keeping the soil moist and not dry. This begonia is called Martin's Mystery. I think this belongs to the trailing kind of begonia. Another special factor about this particular begonia is that it comes in three interchangeable color forms. It's pink and loosely packed in light shade, red and compact growing in full sun, and silvery green in deep shade. It is very forgiving for inconsistent watering and propagates like there is no tomorrow. I could say that this is the best begonia for beginners. 
Trailing begonias grow vine-like, usually with many branches, and lend themselves superbly to hanging baskets or being trained up posts, trellises, and totem poles. Prune stems more often to encourage branching and to obtain stems of varying lengths, resulting in a full shapely plant. This kind of begonia can be propagated easily using stem cuttings, especially tip cuttings you create when you pinch and prune. Potting is more crucial than with some other begonias because the long pendulous stems are sometimes fragile. If you use plastic containers, be careful not to overwater. Some fill clay, wood, or moss-lined wire baskets are better. A squat or somewhat shallow container is best because the begonias are shallow-rooted. If weather is warm or the plant seems to dry out faster than other begonias because it is in a hanging basket, water a bit more frequently. Spraying leaves with water in the morning increases humidity and washes out dust. Disclaimer, I am not an expert. What I am sharing is based on my research and my personal plant parenting experience. I hope you've learned something. Please comment your request for my next video. Thank you for watching!